morning, everybody. I slept in Drayton, North Dakota at the Loves last night. We're about half an hour from the Canadian border, crossing from Emerson, North Dakota, uh, pardon me, from Pembina, North Dakota into Emerson, Manitoba. We got half of our load that's going to Brandon, Manitoba, half of it that's going to Bozeman. We're gonna see how much we can get done today. We get to Brandon as fast as we can and take it from there. So let's get going. No time to waste today. We're in a rush, like always. Let's go. Let's hit the road, Jack. Whoever Jack is, you're out there. has cleared for customs. Hopefully everything is as it should be. All the T's are crossed and T's are dotted. Hopefully all, all the hopefully all the I's are crossed and T's are dotted. impress them too much because then they pull you in they want to talk to you right and then they got questions they say Josh you were so fat last time what happened why aren't you so fat anymore slight right no slight left what are you talking about Karen in 600 meters turn right on 5th street Where? west there is no right turn here you just want me to turn into the ditch and then you get these guys out there that follow the GPS, whatever they say. They're the ones that you'll find in the ditch. Oh, the GPS told me to go there. It told me to turn right. All right, so I got a lot of stuff on my trailer. Um, we're gonna roll past the scale here. They're gonna make sure that everything checks out, run my tags, run my numbers. They're gonna take a close look at my load securement as I roll past the window, see if they're happy with it. And if they are, they'll give me the green light. If they want to take a closer look, they'll give me the red light and I'll have to report, but cross our fingers, cross our toes. I don't got time for that today. And we're running, uh, running in a rush, a real rush today, not just the normal rush. We're actually in quite a rush. 
Don't even got time for this. We're gonna be arriving in Brandon at about three to three thirty towards the end of the workday, and I want to get unloaded today. Yet, and it's gonna take a little while to unload. We got a whole bunch of stuff. It's one piece at a time. It's like this big Tetris pile. I'll roll down my window so they can see my safety sticker. In 300 meters, keep to the right on King Street and then turn left in 50 meters.
Man, this road is so bad though. I guess it's the better part of it. You should have seen it a couple miles back before I started talking. Ah, yeah, here we go. Ah, oh, they're building a whole new bridge all together. Oh. Maybe you should fix the road first because <laughs> the road getting to the bridge here is pretty bad. Glad I got my load tied down nice and tight. Oh, that's a much bigger bridge, look at that, wow. So, is this the only bridge that ever was here? See, like, like I said, I've never been through here before. Is this, I guess if you only have a one lane bridge, I guess it is, makes sense to build a bigger one. I don't know how busy this road usually becomes. This is the Assiniboine River that we're gonna be crossing over here. This is a main river artery of Manitoba. This, this water here goes to Winnipeg and meets with the Red River at the Forks, downtown Winnipeg. And then it all flows north up into uh, Lake Winnipeg. And then eventually into the Hudson's Bay up north into the ocean. Getting ready to leave here in Brandon. Got it unloaded, took a little while, but there's a lot to take off, like I said. So it's about 5.30. Uh, we're gonna run over to Bozager, which is about three hours away or so. I might stop at Flying J on the way, grab a shower, because I'm not gonna be unloading there till the morning. So we'll probably go to Headingley, stop in there, fuel, grab a shower, then go to Bozager and sleep there. I can sleep right in their yard, they said. Coming up to the west side of Winnipeg. So we go around the north side and uh, take Highway 59 north. To Highway 44. That'll take us out to Bozeshire. In 300 meters, take the entrance to the ride on Highway 101 North. Bing, bing, I know. Time to turn. Let's see how bad this on ramp is here. Oh, it's, oh, so bad. They fix it and then three months later, it's just as bad, if not worse. Then they'll fix it, and then again, three, oh, oh, man, come on. I don't get it why it's this specific interchange here at Portage and the West Perimeter. I don't get it. The off-ramp here, like, Continue just to the right. This road for 33 kilometers. Right where that Dodge pickup truck's going. And the on-ramp, where we just came from, those are the worst on and off-ramps anywhere. And they fix them all the time, but the ground must be something like super unstable underneath it or something. I don't know. I'm not an engineer, but neither are the guys who fix it every three months, obviously. Maybe one day it'll get better, but it's so weird. Like a lot of other interchanges, I never really notice it, right? But it's always that one. Sort of like Highway 75 South. Once you hit North Dakota, it turns into Interstate 29, but on the Canadian side, for some reason, we Canadians here in Manitoba don't know how to build a highway because on the American side, the I-29 is smooth as glass. Come into Canada, same highway, just different side of the border, same climate, same region, and we just can't get it right. Constantly fixing it every year. 
most people say, I guess, that, oh, well, we don't have the budget that the Americans have. I-29 is a federal highway and federal interstate, so yeah, they got a big budget, yada, yada, yada. Well, we all know that we could have a larger budget, too. They've shown their hand. The last couple of years, the government in Ottawa has shown their hand that if they want to, they can access a whole ton of money. Those money printers are getting hot money's for you and money for you and money for you and us Canadians are like how about some for us no you're asking for more than we can give wouldn't that be nice if all that money would at least be spent here we'd still have inflation but at least we'd have something to show for it right that's just my two cents maybe I'm wrong I don't know what do I know right I'm just some guy on the internet who whines and complains every day. Look at them bugs. Look at them bugs. Oh, Manitoba in the summertime. Yeah, so I'm here, right where I'll be unloading in the morning. We're gonna step out into the bugs for a bit. We're gonna make this quick so that the door stays open for as little time as possible. Uh, tomorrow, after we unload, I've gotta go to my tire shop. <coughs> Excuse me and get my driver's side steer tire flipped around. It's been wearing a little bit funny. It, I had them rotated. The one that's on the driver's side now used to be on the passenger side and that one always wears out on the edge quicker, right? So when it started wearing funny, or when it started wearing faster on the other side, I rotated them, right? And I put that onto that side. But it kept on, uh, it kept on wearing because it's still on the outside. So now I'm just gonna take the tire off the rim, flip it around so that the worn out part is, or the more worn out part is on the inside. And hopefully that'll get the tire to wear out a little bit more evenly and I can make it last a little longer. Otherwise I'll have to replace it soon. And it's not nearly time to replace them yet. I'm gonna try to save it anyways. We'll see what they say tomorrow when I get there. We'll get that done and then we'll go to the shop, get all my stuff out of here, my laundry out of the truck and we'll go home. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to be home for Canada Day. Uh, it would have been nice to go see some fireworks with the family. But America Day, Independence Day, is on the Thursday. And all of our customers in the U.S. are shut down for Thursday and Friday. So it's an extra long weekend for them. Good for you guys. Go enjoy some fireworks and blow some stuff up. Blow a few things up for me, too. Just have some, have some good firework fun. Have a good barbecue. Have a steak for me. Have some burgers for me. Think of me. Have a couple of drinks, whatever you want to do to celebrate Independence Day, have a fun time. But since that's at the end of the week, we have to cram a lot of our work in the beginning of our week. So I'm going to grab a load of Monday and go back and forth between Kenora and Minnesota, or Ontario and Minnesota, a couple of times. Or, or what did they have me doing? I think I was going to go back and forth there, or I might have a load up to Regina and then back. But they're going to try to keep me busy anyways, and I could use the money. So I'm going to have to work on Canada Day. But I am going to talk to the office about actually booking some holiday time at the beginning of August. I've never, I, I don't barely ever book holiday time. Like I've told you, I, I always just take holidays whenever I, my truck happens to be in the shop. But this year, especially, we have a, I want to, I want to get out on the lake. So I'm going to see if I can book some time off at the be end of July, beginning of August. And uh, we want to rent a boat and uh, get out on the lake and do some fishing and just enjoy the summer a little bit. Instead of just work, 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 work through the entire summer, I need to take some time off to just literally just enjoy at least a few days, just summertime, no work. But uh, we'll see how that works out uh, in a few days. But thanks for joining me. I'm going to go back there now and fall asleep again and go to Dream World where anything is possible. Please join me again tomorrow. I make new videos all the time. Hit that subscribe button down below. Join the TJV family. If you want to take it one step further, you can actually join us and get early access to my videos for like a cup of Starbucks a month, like a cup of coffee a month. You get early access to all the videos, which is pretty cool. Now there's quite a few members there already. I want to say a special thank you to all of you members. That's awesome. And I try to get my videos out to you as early as possible. As soon as I have them edited and uploaded, the members get to view it right away. And uh, for everyone else, it gets released one day at a time, uh, one week after it was filmed. So this vlog I'm filming right now gets released in seven days for me. So you're watching this seven days later. That's how that happens. But if you want to watch them a little sooner, uh, 
Uh, you can uh, check out that uh, join now button down below and read up a little bit more about it. If not, if that's not for you, then you can support us just by leaving a like and leave a comment down below. Go make some friends in the comments section. Just be respectful with everybody. Respond to some comments and that always helps the uh, algorithm as well. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Stay safe out there.